a war pug. So today we're going to be checking out something that's been requested in two places. First on Patreon and secondly on the 40k request tab in the Discord. And that would be the interrogation of Conrad Kurz. Griffin of Might requested it in the Patreons and um, Warsmith's Hanzu requested it in the 40k request line. Now, apparently this is text-to-speech canon. I can't wait for it. I just want to get into it. Let's go. Um, <sighs> let's just go. Let's just go. I'm, I'm excited about this one. Yes. Greetings, O oh worshippers of the Corpse Emperor. <laughs> Some of you may know me as Conrad Kurz, but you will refer to me as the Night Haunter. Okay. This small mechanical dinosaur that calls himself Remlays, <laughs> who appeared out of nowhere, will not stop hounding me with these asinine questions. <laughs> My patience is running thin. <laughs> so just to shut him up before I tear out his vox caster, I will attempt to answer some of them. Let's Be go. grateful that I do not adorn my throne room with your hides. Mauling or flaying? Flaying. Flaying if yes. I have my time. <laughs> Mauling if time is of the essence. Primarch Kurs, of all the many trophies, artifacts, and other items that have come into your possession, which do you like best and which would you not be upset at losing? Sincerely, Brother Raziel, Blood Ravens Librarian. Blood Ravens. I've never heard of your chapter, nor am I interested in hearing any more from you. <laughs> what would I be the least upset at losing? My marbles. But my most treasured, most treasured of all tr He lost his marbles a long time ago. Trophies. The memory of the lion's facial expression when I told him how I actually felt about him. <laughs> Bitch. How would you describe the rivalry your legion had with the Dark Angels during the Horus Heresy? Was it due to your obsession with the lion? Okay, as I just clearly stated beforehand, um, it, it's <laughs> the lion. If you have ever met the lion, You'd know why. Any opportunity you have, you just would love to prove him wrong. It's not that he's wrong. It's this that when he's right, he is absolutely insufferable. <laughs> and also, you'd have to be neurodivergent to understand. It's not that I couldn't... Listen, I, the obsession with the, <laughs> the Dark Angels was you never half-ass a job. You full finish it. And I'll be honest. I just really, really, really... Wanted to hear his screams as I flayed him, but <laughs> you know, neither here nor there. We don't always get what we want. No. Lord Kurz, which of your brothers do you think you would have gotten along with better if events had been different? To this day, I still believe that Sanguinius lied to me. He sees the exact same things I do. Mm hmm. He does. He denies what the curse is. The father put on us. If events were different, they never could be. They were always the way they were meant to be. Mm hmm. Oh, Dread Night Hunter, <laughs> it is said that the red gauntlets worn by Captain Yago Subatarian were a sign that he is condemned to die at your hands. What exactly did he do to earn them? Exist. Savatarian. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> By the throat. Okay. Now, big thing was I. What if I told you? I completely forgot what he did, <laughs> and also I completely forgot that he had the red hands. <laughs> I assumed he was just like making fun of the Ultramarines for their stupid red helmets, <laughs> which is a shit post, by the way. It's not funny. Wait. Now I know what Sevatarian did. Now, now I saw in the future. I saw in the future just what he would become, and you know, just I figured he needed that. And give him a little push he needed. Yeah, it's a little push. My little, little star screen. 
Lord Kurz, if you had caught wind of your legion's corruption earlier, what would you do to fix it and improve it? I caught wind of my legion's corruption the second I breathed in the air on that damnable planet I was sent to. A planet that doesn't even have a name anymore, for it has no place in this galaxy. My only mistake was not starting sooner. Mm. Or not starting the finished job. Shit. The only thing I regret not doing is it sooner. Why didn't you tell the Emperor about the visions you saw? Ah, uh, the Emperor could have said something, but he chose not to, to see how I would react. And for that reason, I... <sighs> How could I tell my father, by the way, Dad, you're gonna kill me, and I'll deserve it. <laughs> Do you regret saving Lorger from Corvus Korax during the drop site massacre? And what even drove you to save him anyway? I always thought you didn't like Lorger. You didn't. He didn't. Oh, you, you misunderstand why I did what I did. You were framing it entirely wrong. I did not save Lorger because I liked Lorger. I saved Lorger because I didn't want Corvus Korax to have a W. Because he doesn't deserve a W. Until such time as he's anything other than a leg night hunter. Third boy. Bird boy. The lost Ithacan asks, Fuck, Mary, flay alive and wear their skin as a sarong, gaunt, spire, and cane. Who? I have no idea who these people are. You just said three words. <laughs> like what? Like gaunt as in your sickly looking spire as in a tower, cane as in what? Cane? Cane? <laughs> oh, just stick or a person? What? Okay, next question. I don't even know what that is talking about. Flay him! You, Jesse Berg, you get flamed. That's my answer. <laughs> How did it feel doing parkour in the hive cities of Nostromo? Was it fun having the wind in your hair? I didn't want to say the name of Nostromo for a reason. For the planet I was on, where the corruption of my legion came from, was a curse given to me from the get-go. But I will admit, it was kind of fun jumping around on the, you know... Yeah. Yeah, on the building. So it's fun. You're looking down. Yeah. You drop it down on the guy when it's raining. And he, you know, just follow him for a little bit. He's like, I'm get up, get up. Uh, look at me going about my business. I sure am a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and just slowly kill him for like 18 hours. <laughs> any day, you know, any day. <clears throat> just any day for a good girl. Be. It was told that you were perished during the days of the Horus Heresy. How did you survive? How I survived. <laughs> How did I survive? Oh, that's... Rich. <laughs> How did I survive? Well, my brother, Sanguinius, the angel, could not accept that I was right. But if he did what he needed to do, he would be wrong. So therefore, he did... What any weird politician would, what any strange leader, what any fickle, sickly, corrupted maggot would do. He put me in a, st in a stasis pod of sorts and ejected me out into space. He did not have any last word, by the way. He was just silent. He was just looking at me like he knew what he was doing was wrong. He had nothing clever to say on my way out, though. And nothing clever to say. I cannot reiterate how he had nothing clever to say. Okay. Is it easier to hide in a hive world or a feral world? No, you mistake Pentadeus. They're the same thing. <laughs> well, Night Hunter, I have to ask this important question. Where can I find your knock? I mean, totally legit Conrad Kerr's merchandise. <laughs> I want to bat my mean Conrad t-shirt. I feel like if you are approaching the Night Haunter, Mr. Murdoch, which is a pretty good murderer name, by the way. True. You should have your questions figured out fully. However, I do not blame you for being intimidated, seeing as how many people I've flayed in the last couple of questions. <laughs> Flay Murdoch, too. Why did you implement the policy of death for the merest crime upon Nostromo Quintus? It clearly did not work, as you were sent all the criminals as your Astartes. How do you justify not destroying them? If I deviated away from what I saw, from what I knew to be the truth, it would fall apart. 
The Night Raiders themselves were corrupted from the get-go as a lesson in sometimes believing the best in us is not always going to work. Yeah. And as for the hiring policies, the planet was so corrupted by the time I got there that even after a good culling, you could barely sort out the problem. That planet <laughs> itself was corrupted. And its tendrils got into the very soul of humanity there. So, like any disease, we expunged it. Do you have any hobbies that don't involve killing or mutilation? No. No, killing and mutilation is... Well, killing is more or less my job, but really, mutilation is more my passion. <laughs> Greetings, Conrad mm. Kurz, the Night Hunter. Did you, Alpharius, Omegan, and Corvus Corax all ever have a stealth competition during the Great Crusade on whose Space Marine Legion was the best of the best at assassination, espionage, and sabotage against the Imperium's enemies? Just a curious thought from a blood raven on what was it like during the Great Crusade days. <laughs> I will admit to you, Supreme Crimson Leader. I will admit to you this. The four of us one time all agreed to have a stealth off. Now, as of right now, no one has won. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Omega Don or Altharius. Wait, no. Shoot. God, were there two of them? Oh, please don't tell me I was imagining that. That couldn't be the case. <laughs> no way, that couldn't be the case. Uh, for those wondering, yes, we have a we have a stealth off, and currently, right now, uh, Corvus Corax has lost. Uh, I'm still in the wins. Um, however, also, I, I will admit uh, that I think Omegon is um, out there still. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. All right, with your questions, I, I, I... Dear Conrad Kurz, the Night Haunter, I wish to question you about your true desire for vindication. Mm -hmm. The hidden records of your deeds during the Great Crusade were to say at the very least, brutal and bloody, but you still seem to have a course of justice that you followed, fear of vengeance and true justice. In your own words, you despise those who hide behind the law to bring about their own sick games, so I wish to ask you this, if you were to return to the Imperium, would you continue your bloody crusade of justice? There are many crazed Imperial governors, unjust inquisitors, and loyalists slaying space marines that you could seek out. Knight Scion of the Ordo Theoreticus, Matthias. Mm, our deeds were brutal and bloody. Yes. True. In action takes no effort. Action mm. takes effort. So to do a nefarious act, an evil act, takes effort, a conscious choice. So... What? That is why I did it. Because many had empty words and simple platitudes when... It was anybody else confused by that or was that just me? In truth, what we needed was actions. Because they speak louder than words. Yes. I know. Mine do. If I were to return to the Imperium... <laughs> why does he sound like Cell from Tech... from, um... Why does he sound like Cell from Dragon Ball Z Abridged? If I were to return... Uh, to the Imperium... They would never let that happen. They would move everything... To never let me get near Terra. But if I had to start anywhere, I'd start with the Inquisitors. Just because they think so high and mighty of themselves. That's the best to target. Hello there, my Lord Conrad Kurz. I hope this message finds you not completely insane. <laughs> now for my question. A question that could prove to be far too taxing for even a Primarch's mind. A question that could shake the very foundations of the galaxy. A question that could take a millennia to answer. Do you enjoy cake, and if so, what is your favorite? Really? Uh, cake? <laughs> yeah, I like cake. It's pretty... <coughs> it's fine. The sweetness of it is <laughs> nauseating. But if it's good ice cream cake, I like the, I, I like the mouthfeel of it. Lord Kurz, I have a small question. Who is, or was your favorite brother in the <laughs> Oh, Richard Martin, my favorite brother is Vulcan. He's such a nice guy.
Who deserves all the love he has coming his way. Ugh. If you hear this, brother, I love you. I love you so much. I miss you. I hope we get to play again. We weren't done. Lord Conrad Kurz, uh. you seem to have an unfortunate number of issues plaguing you and causing you terrible amounts of stress. Have you ever possessed, or did you ever consider getting a therapy animal to help with that? <sighs> he had one. Every time I have a therapy animal, it dies. <laughs> Unrelated. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's related. There is no one in this room with me. Everyone is avoiding me. You know what? You know what I am. I'm the Bojack Horseman of the Primarchs. Everyone loves me. No one likes me. That's why I died alone in the middle of nowhere. I'm kidding. That doesn't actually happen. Or does it? Maybe you don't know. Ooh. Either way, Flay the one who brought the messages. <laughs> there. I've answered your questions. Now get out of my sight and go back whence you came before I snap your necks and flay you every second of those agonizing moments left. Oh, and if you ever run into Gender Scrythok, tell him he's a useless twat. <laughs> Goodbye. For now. <laughs> like, favorite, subscribe. Ring that bell. <laughs> okay. Takahata boy. Wait a minute. Takahata? Is that who I think it is? Is that actually Cell? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so. Oh. Of course, Conrad Curse would want to flay everyone alive. That's just how that goes. <laughs> Oh God! Ne I, I, we need to do an, a Q and A for. We need a. We need several Primarchs for Q and A. Perturab would be one of them. I would gladly send questions for Perturabo. That would be definitely, most definitely, the greatest thing ever. Guys, Rimless did an amazing job, as per usual, when it comes to dealing with this kind of stuff. It's nice that we still get this humorous side of 40k. That's why I do my Lord the way it is, because I like the humorous side of 40k. I like to have fun with it. Um, if you guys like this, go check out 40k theories. He does ask a couple of uh, interesting questions, like what if we replace the you know, the Emperor's body with cyber dogs? No, wait, that's heresy. But he has asked that question before. Um, guys... All of Rimley's links are going to be in the description down below. Rimley's is 40k theories. Rimley's is also in Texas speech, as his as himself in 40k theories. Some of the funniest stuff I've seen in a, in a minute. Oh god! If you have not seen Texas speech, you're doing yourself a disservice. Look up if the emperor had a Texas speech device. You will not be sad for it. I hope it comes back soon. I hope it comes back one day. But until then. Guys, if you'd like to support the channel, put a, put a thumbs up down there and uh, leave a comment. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, I have merchandise down below and I have a Patreon. Well, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. And remember, he's watching you. Right now. <laughs>